So what can you do to prevent this from happening to you as a recruiter? Try these three tips for size. Number one, don't ghost them. Treat candidates the same way you would like to be treated and you shouldn't have a problem in theory. Think of it this way. If you've been on the receiving end of a bad customer service in a restaurant, for example, you'd feel almost entitled to be a bad customer and not leave a tip. Likewise, if you say you will send an email, call or text to a candidate, try to do it when you said you would. This shows you're sticking to your side of the deal and this should encourage them to do the same. Two, encourage candidates to voice their concerns. It's better for them to tell you they are unhappy with something than to say nothing and just stop returning your calls. Lay down some mutual ground rules from the beginning. For example, as we go through this process, if at any point you lose interest in my client or have concerns for any reason, that's absolutely fine. I just need to know that you'll share those concerns with me. At worst, this will result in removing the candidate from the process. At best, you can work through the issue and see if you can help. Either of these outcomes is better than the candidate going AWOL because they felt they couldn't tell you they'd lost interest. Number three, clarify what's acceptable from your client. This is so important. Clients can play a part in the ghosting process too, so it's important that they also understand what's acceptable in terms of keeping everyone informed. Say you've spent time forging a great relationship with a candidate, but once you put them forward to a client, that client then takes two weeks to give you feedback and the candidate ghosts you as a result. In a situation like this, you need to have a pretty frank conversation with your client. High demand candidates are likely to be interviewing with other competing companies at the same time. So being on the receiving end of a shit process with you and your client will probably result in ghosting. Make sure your client understand that this not only reflects badly on you, but it reflects badly on their business as well and their hiring brand. In general, people hate to deliver bad news. So unfortunately, from time to time, ghosting will still happen. But if your candidates feel they owe you a fair game, they're far more likely to be open and upfront during the hiring process. So treat candidates how you'd like to be treated, tighten up your process, be visible and valuable, and you'll help make ghosting and recruitment a thing of the past. Now, I'd love to know what you do to prevent ghosting. Let me know in the comments, and I've also included a blog that I wrote on the very subject with a few more pointers as well. Thanks very much.